Hello YouTube. Uh I've got today. I've got this in my uh rucksack. This is a sixty five litre blacks rucksack, which I was kindly given by my uncle and auntie uh for my birthday. So I'm very pleased with this rucksack. It's quite comfortable. Um but a guy called Fog360 um, commented on my hike video saying he'd love to see what I brought with me on my hike. Now, he's got a great channel and I advise you to um, check that out. It's Fog360. Um, so, yeah, here is his video. Um, and I'm just going to run through what I've got in my bag. So, <laughs> just unclip it, basically, just go through what's inside. So, it's got these, like, kind of wrinkles where you, where you just pull them, like that. So, my first item is the Tragia, which you all saw me using in my video. My height video. That's just my Tragia, the 25 version ultra light and it's really good so there's that and I've got these now some people like to take water with them in bottles that are like 10 quid each but the importance of clean water I think we forget in our own home um, like you can easily one person get through with your washing up and everything three litres easily in one day so basically I just take some uh, fizzy water bottles there you go so I've got basically uh, four litres worth of water there which might seem a lot but I think it's worth it so um, the next item I've got is my brew kit I'll do a video on this another day but basically just your usual tea coffee I've got some stock cubes in there and just as a backup dextrose energy tablet so yeah that's my brew kit then I've got a ball of duped wine very handy indeed tinder uh, lashing anything you want really where you don't want to use up your valuable paracord that's my duke time. Then I've got my fire kit, which I'll be doing a video on, or if I haven't already uploaded it, I'll upload it shortly. So that's that one. Um, now, last item. Now, you're going to think I'm a, an idiot, and I am, but uh, next time I won't be taking this with me. This is a cheap aluminium cook set, and I've already got a cook set here, haven't I? Numpty. But, um,. Basically, this has got quite a bit of sentimental value to me because it, I was given it by my grandparents. And the Hexamin cooker, which I use this on, soots quite a lot. And I didn't really want to get these all sooty because I don't know, they're quite nice and new. So, but uh, next time I'm just going to bring that and use the Hexamin cooker on that as well. So that's all the items in the main compartment. Now let's move on to the side compartment so it's got this like stretchy fabric so you can fit extra load of stuff in there but here we go two items or no two cups sorry one's mug one's a little cup picnic cup that's for me and my brother so um then we've got a head torch this is the outkit head torch if you haven't seen my video then this is it uh it's a good head torch just in case I get caught out after dark, need to find my way back. So then, this is my army hexi cooker, which you all saw the review of. Hopefully, it's got the Crusader cup mount, and it's I really like it. It's really good. It comes in a little paper bag. Like that. Um, that's it for that pocket. Let's just move on to the other side pocket. Now, just a hank of paracord. It's probably about 10, 10, 20 foot in there. Um, so, yeah, paracord uses, millions of uses. Um, 
Then it's just my Mauler clipper knife, which I'll do a review of later, but uh, it's just really good, solid, sturdy knife, hasn't broken on me. Nice, solid plastic sheath. Um, that's it for that. Now there's just one more pocket, which is this front one. It's got all got waterproof zips on. Oh, stupid. Wrong one. There we go. Right. Uh, so here, binoculars. I didn't really use these. I might not bring them the next time, but it's nice to know that you might be able to look at the wildlife. Just some yellow ones. They're, they're all right. Not the best. Mag they're Pentax ones. Not the best magnification on there, so, but it does the trick. Um, then I have uh, my folding saw. This is a Wilkinson Swords one. Now, some people say buy a back Barco Laplander one, but at the moment, this is sufficed. I mean, it's not one of those where it folds out, it's actually a sliding saw if you want. But there, not the longest blade, but it's good, yeah? Uh, I, th I think it was about five quid. Actually, it was a birthday present from a friend five years ago or something. But I haven't used it that much. So. Then, just a pair of secateurs. Makes life slightly easier. Might not bring these next time. But, uh, yeah. We've got a little bit handy. The last item, which I haven't used that much yet, but it's going to come in handy. This is just a notepad, which, basically, I can write little things. Now... I've only got one thing in here at the moment, but I'm hoping to get more. Now, if you haven't checked out my Bushcraft My Way Challenge, or, no, no, My Way Bushcraft channel, definitely check it out. He's got some great tips, and he's really up on knowledge in unique ways. Now, there's one thing I found really interesting that I wanted to note down, so I knew it in the field, was that inside teasels, apparently, when I find some teasers, I'll try it out and film it. There is a small maggot kind of thing that you can use as fishing bait. So, yeah, that's just a pen where I can write down knowledge and things and uh, places where I know that I can find, uh, like, wild edibles and that. So, yeah, that's my kit. I'm going to lay it out. Ah. I've forgotten a really handy piece of kit. That is my roll mat. This is just a closed foam cell roll mat, but it's brilliant. I mean, you can, it gets ripped up and chewed, but it's not an inflatable one, so it's not gonna, um, uh, you know, like rip and tear and that. But, although not being the comfiest to sleep on, it makes sitting on the ground so much more comfy because it do, you don't get too wet and uh, I think it's really it's just a really good bit of kit and you can buy these for a 5 or a 10 or so I definitely recommend you get one because they're really nice to sit on so I'm going to lay it all out now just so you can have a look and that's it that's my kit really so I'll just lay it out Quick run through now. So rucksack, brew kit, knife, folding, uh, sliding saw, secateurs, booklet, army hex cooker, binoculars, fire kit, uh, cook set, transier, um, mug, cup, uh, jute twine, paracord, four litres of water, and my head torch. So there, you can see it all. Um, and of course the roll mat. I always forget that one. Uh, so yeah, I've ho I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, it's been a pleasure talking about my kit. I hope I gl I've uh, gladly received some comments on what I should take out, what I should put in. Uh, I'm gonna get a top. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. And uh, it's been a pleasure talking. Thanks for watching. <laughs>